Welcome back everyone to another video. So today I am going to give you guys a bit of a product review. Now when I say that, obviously I get asked a lot of questions about lots like you know some of the gear I run, what gear do you recommend, all that sort of business from my friends and some other people as well. So I just want to start doing some product reviews. Now a lot of these products I have used over the year and I've used and <laughs> used them pretty well. So. I can fair say that um, I have got a good idea of some good quality products to get you what you want out of whatever you need, I guess, like your car, your boat, your, your camera gear that you want to use. I'm going to do a lot of these product reviews. Only I'm only going to review stuff that I've used and have abused because that gives you a good indication of is it going to be the right choice for you. Now, again, I, I will say that these are my opinions. Um, this is just from way I have used them and and no means am I sponsored by the, any of these guys. I just want to give you guys a good honest review about these products. So the first product review we're going to do for the year is the awning. Uh, my Batwing awning. Let's get into this. Boo. I so. Yo, I pitch wisdom for the kids them. Solid as a prism keeps a funky rhythm. If I want it, I go and get it. My blood thicker than water. We up like a zip of my jeans. Seems got ashes from the plane. I'm elevating and crashing in the bed. But instead, I hit my rooftop and watch the world go. Pen and issue inside my journal. Look up at the stars as I burn slow. Head to the veil over by shrouds. We in the house with the herbal. As I thaw on my starter. Once my ignition startup is go time. And we ain't even hit our prom in no time. In the city living. So let's talk about some specs. It gives you 11 square meters of shade, which is absolutely gorgeous on a super hot day like today. I'm actually under it now, which is good. I've got a nice breeze blowing, all that sort of business. I am running the 2.5 meter version. Now, I do believe that there is a two meter version for, I guess, dual cabs. That's kind of what you would maybe want to use it. Now, it's the 270 degree, which is probably the greatest invention since sliced bread, I think, to be honest. Like, it's just, I've had, I guess, the King's awnings, and they're good. No, they're not, they're not good. I, I just, I, I just know there's better out there. So, yes, they are good if you can't afford it, but if you save your dosh, you can get yourself some good awning, some good quality gear, and that's what it's all about. Uh, next, what's it made of? Ripstop polyester canvas. This is this stuff is everywhere on everything, and it is absolutely. It's a strong product. It's a strong quality fabric, whatever you want to call it. What they use on these awnings, it's good. Now, it's also mold and water resistant. Now, I say this. <laughs> this is my opinion on that. So, countless times I've set up in wet or has had heaps of condensation from camping overnight and I have never, and I say, I mean, I've never, which is what I should probably do, is when you get home, you unpack it and let it dry out. I've never done that, never done that. And I've had it for two years and I've never had one bit of mold on it. So that can give you a good indication that when they say that it's mold resistant, it actually is mold resistant, stupid flies. Um, it's actually 50 SPF sun rated, so it gives you good protection from the sun. Now with the 11 square meters of shade, you do have to account, have to take into account the way the sun is reflecting off it or giving you the shade because obviously it's all about placement of your car. You gotta set your car in a place where it's gonna give you shade for the entire day as the sun goes up and over. So it's definitely something to think about. Um, there's heaps of accessories for these things. Oh, stupid flies. There's heaps of accessories for uh, this awning. Now, you can buy a Hollywood awning walls and pretty much turn this thing into a one big tent, which is pretty fabulous. And they also got awning, uh, they got the floor mesh as well to suit this awning as well, which I think is great. Um, there's heaps of spare parts for this thing, and I'll get that to that in a second. Frame itself is made out of aluminium. The hinge, half, I'm gonna say half the hinge is aluminium. Um, hold on. we'll show you. I'll show you. That's what we'll do. So, half the hinge here is aluminium. This bit here, and then you've got the plastic parts that are poles that the poles are connected to. Rhino rack should make it all aluminium. That whole hinge setup, and this thing would be unbeatable. It would be such a great thing. But anyway, I'll get I'll get to more of that in a second. It does have. It does have. 
It does have the twist lock poles to set up for uneven ground and you can set the different heights up and stuff like that. And at the bottom on the feet, which I'm gonna show you, ah, it has holes for your tent pegs, which I think is super, super good. Um, I'm not gonna get into that right now. That'll come later in the video. So it's got the ripstop canvas. It's 50 SPF. It's mold and water resistant. It's got the twist lock poles. It's got the feet where you can put your pegs in. Auto setup. As you would have seen in that first little bit of the video, it's pretty easy to set up. It is not super difficult. Um, it does pay to have a second person to help you. It really does. It can't always happen, but it's just good if you have it. So as you've seen in the video, I did it myself. And the way I do it, I guess just a little hot tip, is just to keep the tension on that canvas as you're going around. And then once it, once it, um, let me show you this. And once you get to the end, it pays also, and another little hot tip, it pays to put this strap on first. It just helps when you pull it tight. That's all that strap's for, is just to help pull it tight. But it pays to put that on first before you run it all out because you don't want to have it in the car and then have to put it all back and then, yeah. But other than that, setup's pretty easy. Uh, there's not much to really go over. It's setting up an awning. If you don't know how to set up an awning, well, you probably got bigger dramas going on in your life. <laughs> um, so let's talk about some of let's talk about some of my experiences with this thing. So I've got two bad experiences. Well, it's actually two mixed into one. I want to cover the subject of wind. Now, there's a lot of awnings out there that claim they can handle a bit of wind. Now, if you've paid a decent amount for for your awning, just peg it. L like you've paid good money look after it that's all i can say it's just look after it and i can say this from experience now this thing retails for about anywhere on the on the on the rhino rack website right now it says 1200 bucks but i've i got mine way cheaper than that i think i picked mine up for 700 i think because i got it in a pack with my um pioneer platform the rhino rack pioneer platform so I, I don't think it was that much so you can definitely get them on sale but yeah, it pays to peg it because I've set it up a couple of times, and I mean a couple of times, and, uh, and there's been no wind, and then next minute, big gust of wind, whole thing just folds over, and all the little hinge parts on the, all the little parts on the hinge just break, snap, and you've lost your awning. And this is also a pro and a con that they have weak parts on here, but the pro is they have spare parts for it. Now, they do sell the hinge replacements, which they've obviously thought of, which I think is great. They've seen a flaw in their product and they've rectified the problem. So I think that's a great idea. It sucks that it's a weak point, but at the same time, they give you the spare parts. So I keep a four pack in my car. I think a four pack's like 30 bucks from eBay, the, the actual Rhino Rack ones. Uh, a four pack is like 30 bucks, which isn't that expensive. It just, it's one of those things that if it was a cheaper awning and it, one of those parts failed you throw it out which i think is a waste an absolute waste and i think that's an absolute shot at the companies that do that sort of stuff and don't offer some sort of replacement parts because you find these things on the campsites on the tracks at the dumps on marketplace and i just think that's a big waste where i've had this thing for two years and all I've done is replace the hinges a couple of times. Yes, a couple of times. And I've replaced the cover bag. And all of it's pretty cheap. It's not it's not overly expensive. Like the cover bag I replaced because my car doesn't sit in the garage. It sits out in the sun. So I don't consider that a flaw in their product. Like if my car or I took the awning off, I feel like I could have looked after it a bit better. But um, that's just, that's on me. That's not on, but it's good that they offer a replacement part for the awnings uh, replacement parts for the awning which I think is a great idea um, another con another pro I guess it gives good shade again you just have to you just have to make sure where you park your car it's it's in the direction of the Sun so you you cop in that morning shade and then you get the afternoon shade of wherever you want to be as well but other than that I've, I have no dramas with this um, let's go for another con I guess is um, because of the canvas, and even right now, I can feel the heat. But obviously, you're not always going to want to be standing up in your awning. So, it's just one of those things that you, if you have no breeze, it's going to be pretty hot under here. But you do get the shade. And obviously, if you, 
minimize or maximize the distance between your head and where you are under the awning you won't get as burnt or as hot um, so yeah it's just just something to think about I guess of where you want to set up and how much cooler you're actually going to be all right guys that's the end of the episode make sure you like and subscribe i'm going to bring out uh, every fortnight I'm definitely going to bring out some more product reviews to opposite of the actual vlogs that i'm doing just to give you guys a bit of uh some help in choosing the right gear for what you want to do so i just want to give you guys some food for thought it's just always when you go to buy something look for quality keep your budget in mind i know that's hard sometimes if you feel like you need to save up a bit more to get that better quality gear i always recommend it I, i've had the cheap gear and i'm that stupid guy as the saying goes poor man buys twice and i've done that so now when i look i guess hope i'm a bit more mature when i buy things and then just your needs what do you actually need so some people you know they buy the best gear but they don't need it or they buy the crap gear and they're not getting what they need from it so i guess they're the three things you just need to look for quality the budget and your needs and they're three things you should always ask yourself before you go buy any product for whatever reason i guess and that's the kind of stuff i want to make sure i give you guys just the, just the um right information for the products that i use and it'll only be the products that i use because i'm not gonna get a product and not use it and then tell you guys to buy it because i think that's dumb and i think that's a waste of your time and my time so anyway like and subscribe hit that notification bell follow me on instagram follow me on facebook subscribe to the channel peace Unless you talking numbers, we ain't speaking about the right things. Switch up on my nigga for a figure, that's not like me. Batty with a body in the lobby, she like nice things. She used to know me then, she like me now.